Okay, so tonight we're going to do a related topic um, and, and install IPFS interplanetary file system. So let's get started. So you can see it. Uh, I don't know. How, yeah, you should be able to see my command line. Uh, let's see. Put it over here. And. So this is the docs from uh, the IPFS docs and the first thing you got to do is get the software. Now this is the Linux so they give you all the commands here. Now we'll see as you, as you've, as you know sometimes it doesn't work exactly according to command so let's see what happens here. And it's downloading pretty, actually pretty quickly. Now this is written in Go from what I can tell. And um, there's a bunch of things you do for example and move it into bin and uh, and then you start it and uh, it's obviously more you can do which we'll talk about and that'll probably be tomorrow okay so we downloaded it now we have to unzip it and it's right here as you can see so now we're going to run the tar command and paste that in, you know, very simple. So and now what we have to do is to install it. So you can see the command here is sudo uh, the esh install dot sh and so let's check that it's correctly installed. Here we go. check that it's correctly installed. So what we should be able to do is IPFS dash dash version. Let's see what version we got. We got 8.0. Um, so we now have it installed. We know it's installed correctly. You can also um, do it manually. Uh, they said it's not the easiest thing. Uh, and the next steps are going to be to initialize it and get the thing up and running and see what we can see. So that's going to be that's going to be for next time. But um, you can see how easy it is, and now we'll be able to look at it uh, and uh, set up. A little uh, little, little uh, node here and um, I guess one of my questions with it is okay so you have all this data and you can install it when we did some of our tests earlier I am um, one of the questions I had okay this is great but what happens when uh, I want to actually get the data. Um, it's really not, I mean it's all based on those CIDs so I don't know it's what kind of search mechanism they have on here. Um, one thing that you can do, um, so you can do a whole, you can do this uh, desktop style like we did with um, 
what is it? Um, one of the other, the, um, the video streaming project where we were able to install a node just using a desktop version. But um, it will be interesting to see what we can do with it. Um, and uh, take it from there. So hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, uh, please give a like. Please share. I guess things are... I start moving around here. Um, let's bring this back up. Don't know why that happened. Um, let's go back. Anyway, um, hopefully this has been useful to you. If it has, uh, please give a like. Uh, please. Please share it with your friends. Please subscribe and um, uh, ring the bell for further videos. And uh, I will speak to you next time.